coach on the road with the MLB stars of the game, and I'm over here in the Nationals locker room, and I got the man here, Jesse. How we doing today? I'm doing good, man. How about you? Just fine. Good, good. We're taking our youngsters behind the scenes on what it's like being a major league ball player. So what's this big league experience been like for you? Man, dream come true. Um, you know, I get to do what I've always wanted to do since I was a kid. Um, I think that's what life's about. It's pursuing something you have a passion about. Um, mine happened to be baseball. It's, um, I love it. Like, um, I think about it all day. And um, I always tell people there's two, there's two things I love doing. It's being a father and playing baseball. Okay. So yeah. you got to say Happy Mother's Day all yesterday, huh? I did, man. I did. I, um, there's a, you know, moms have a special place in all of our lives. So, yeah, I'm definitely thankful for my mom and, and all the moms out there. And the mother of your child. Yeah, absolutely. Thankful for the mother of my child as well. She's, um, you know, she's had such a positive impact on my daughter. And, um, you know, she's a great role model and a, and a great person. So, yeah, definitely thankful for her. So, you know, I used to coach college baseball. Started for five major league teams. Every kid dream of playing in the big leagues. They look at you guys and they think y'all get to this big league overnight. No, yeah, it doesn't happen overnight. That's for sure. Um, I, uh, you know, it takes a lot of work to get here. It takes a lot of work to stay here. Um, and that's, um, I think that's the thing that we all, we all remember is the, um, you know, when you're going through hard times, you remember all the work it took for you to get here in the first place, and it kind of gets you through. So what about your minor league experience? If you guys don't realize, you got to go through the minor league. You got to go through what they call the jungle first. Yeah, man, the trenches for sure. Uh, I spent five and a half years in the minor leagues. I, um, um, you know, it's a little bit different now. Guys are getting to the big leagues a little bit quicker. Um, but I enjoyed all the towns I played in. I had positive experiences. Um, I felt like I was ready for the big leagues before um, I was called. Um, but those decisions aren't up to you as a player. Um, I'm sure there was other things that I was doing that um, the team I was with at the time could have said, hey, maybe you're not ready. Um, but, you know, being a player, being a competitor, I felt like I was ready um, after double A. And, um, but, you know, it is what it is. You, you get there when you get there. It's not your job to, to worry about that. It's your job to enjoy the game, respect the game. And, you know, at the end of the day, you're, you're getting to put a jersey on. So there's you got you to gotta be pretty thankful for that. Uh, and I know Tory Hunter talked about peanut butter and jelly days and salami sandwiches. Did you come up in that era or you came up in this new era of my league? No, man, I came up with the PB&J era for sure. I remember uh, one of my coaches, Pat Kelly, one of my – dude, this guy, all time, shout out PK. Um, he's a G. He, uh, we were in – um, Helena, Helena, Montana. It's short season, and um, we came in from hitting BP, and all the all the pitchers got to go in and, and eat the spread first. Well, the spread was uh, PB and J, and you had to make it. So we come in. There's no bread left in the bags of bread. He starts yelling at all the pitchers. He hated pitchers, man. He hates pitchers. Uh, I remember him saying that out loud. I hate all you pitchers. Um, it was hilarious, man. So shout out PK. You know, getting to play for Pat Kelly, Delano the Shields. Um, I played for those two guys, really. And uh, um, Nieves. And, uh, but I really played for, for Pat Kelly and Delano the longest in my, in my minor league stints. And, um, you know, they taught me so much about the game. And they had my back as a player and as a person. And they kind of saw me grow into a, into a man. So it was cool. They, you know, these coaches have such a great impact on players and um, you know I'll remember them forever. So last two questions, I don't want to hold you too long. So let's go back with your rookie year. I mean I know you your your, your first name became Rook. <laughs> so yeah. what, what was that like? What was it like being a rookie at the big league? Some of the comical stuff. Uh, man, I, I had a good experience. Um, obviously there's the rookie stuff that everyone deals with. It's part of it. Um, it's cool. I, I took it as like a, a badge of honor. I grew up with two older brothers and all their friends, so there wasn't anything uh, verbally that really got to me, I don't think. Like maybe at the time I got a little bit of a red face at times, but nothing that uh, I, I never felt like mad disrespected or anything. But um, it's cool. It's part of it, man. And, and um you know, now that I'm 30 and I get and I'm on the older side, I guess I guess I'm on the older side. I still don't feel it, but um, it's nice to share your experience. But the one thing I did learn when I was a rookie is that the 
the best veterans I, I was around, they shared their experiences, but they also continued learning. Um, you know, I was around guys like Joey Votto and Bronson Arroyo, and those guys had so much knowledge to pass along to me, but they also were nonstop gaining knowledge as well, and I always admired that, and um, I want to take that as my career progresses as well. So I heard about getaway day where the rookies get uh, their clothes taken and get an outfit. Which one you get? Uh, what did we have to do? We had to dress up like a Teletubby. Actually, we had to dress up like a Teletubby and walk back through downtown Chicago, believe it or not, <laughs> to the hotel. Um, and I and I took a, I took an Uber. Oh. So I, I had residual rookie stuff going into the next year because I didn't walk back. I Ubered. But, uh, you know, it was cool. I was treated really well. I had a lot of great guys that um, took good care of me. And i um, thankful for that. Coach on the road with the man. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Maybe, you know, when you were in high school, you weren't serious about playing ball. Uh, you didn't uh, dedicate yourself. You didn't put in that full effort. But now that you're older, you're a little more mature, a little more wiser. Now you're like, man, I wish I still had an opportunity to play ball. Uh, well, this is a, a great opportunity for you to be able to invest in yourself, see where you're at. You know, that's where you weed out the play, the ball players from just the average guy. If you're playing 50 uh, games in 50 days, you're going to really find out who the real ball players are. So, uh, definitely excited to see that and, uh, you know, see the talent that does come through in the tryouts and, you know, see where it goes from there. Click on the subscribe button and become a subscriber.